Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot. Today I'm going to do a special uh, new thing that I thought of called um, Two For You Book Review. And I thought every now and then I'd review a couple of books that are either fiction or nonfiction that are related to um, tarot, divination, and things like that. The same uh, things I make videos on. So um, today I'm going to share with you a couple of books that I read recently. The first one is called The London Seance Society. It's a, by Sarah Penner, P-E-N-N-E-R. And um, she is the New York Times bestselling author of The Lost Apothecary, which I have not yet read. But if you have and it was really good, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, this book is um, published by Park Row Books, and let's look at the publication date, and then I'll tell you what it's about. Alright, so, it is published in 2023, so this is a brand new, brand spanking new book. Okay, and this is what it says, um... Well, it's $30 in the U.S., $37 in Canada. Um, there may be other prices that you can find as well online. It says, from the author of the sensational bestseller, The Lost Apothecary, uh, amid the shrouded parlors of Victorian London, two daring women hunt for the truth and justice in the perilous art of conjuring the dead. It's 1873. At an abandoned chateau on the outskirts of Paris, a dark seance is about to take place, led by acclaimed spiritualist Vaudeline Dallaire. Known worldwide for her talent in conjuring the spirits of murder victims to ascertain the identities of the people who killed them, she is highly sought after by widows and investigators alike. Lena Wicks has come to Paris to find answers about her sister's death, but to do so, she must embrace the unknown and overcome her own logic-driven bias against the occult. When Vaudeline is beckoned to England to solve a high-profile murder, Lena accompanies her as an understudy. But as the women team up with the powerful men of London's exclusive seance society to solve the mystery, they begin to suspect that they are not merely out to solve a crime, but perhaps entangled in one themselves. All right, so it's a really good book. Um, it's written with alluring suspense and sultry prose. The London Seance Society is an entrancing tale that explores the blurred lines between truth and delusion and reveals the grave risks women will take to avenge the ones they love. And then in the back, it talks about Sarah Penner. Um, she's the New York Times and internationally best-selling author of The Lost Apothecary. Here she is which will be translated into 40 languages worldwide and is set to be turned into a drama series by Fox. Sarah spent 13 years in corporate finance and now writes full-time. She and her husband live in Florida. To learn more, visit sarahpenner.com. All right, so there are a few things. So this is a good book. I recommend it. Um, it's, very, it's written um, by... From the point of view of two different people, one of the characters who is Lena that you already know about, and the other one is Mr. Morley, who is also one of the main characters in the story. So it kind of switches back and forth between the two of them. And another thing, so it's a good story, very exciting, and also at the end there's some really cool things here. Um, there's the author's note, of course, and then there's a section about Victorian mourning customs. So that's very interesting, and that's mourning as in when someone dies. And then uh, Victorian funer funereal feasting, and there are even recipes in here for Victorian funeral biscuits, Victorian hot punch, and um, there's a recipe or uh, instructions to make a do-it-yourself three-layer trick candle. And then there's a section with further reading. So this is a good one. Um, I definitely recommend it. I think you'll enjoy it if you like murder mysteries, if you like seances, and um, the paranormal. I think you'll enjoy this book. And also, if you're interested in uh, Victorian society as well, because it takes place um, in 1873, like I said. All right, now, and it takes place also between Paris and London. All right, so this book is um, called The Cloisters, and it's by Katie Hayes. Now, this one um, is published by Atria. Let, let me, I'll look in here more. I, I'm not, that's a little hard to read. Let's see. 
Okay, it's it's published by Atria Books, an imprint of Simon and Schuster Inc. And this is a 2022 book. Uh, so this is uh, a fairly new. I mean, it's a practically new book as well. So it's called The Cloisters, and um, it has you know people praising it. It's twenty eight dollars in the U S. thirty seven dollars in Canada. And it says, behind the closed doors of the cloisters, shocking secrets and a mysterious deck of tarot cards spark a deadly power game within a close-knit group of researchers. This, by the way, is also a murder mystery. When Anne Stilwell arrives in New York City, she expects to spend her summer working at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Instead, she finds herself assigned to the Cloisters, a Gothic museum and garden renowned for its collection of medieval arts and its enigmatic researchers. Patrick Rowland, the charismatic curator specializing in the history of tarot, and Rachel Mondre, Patrick's brilliant curatorial associate, and Leo Bittberg, the gardener charged with cultivating the museum's poisonous plants. Eager to accept her troubled past in rural Washington, Anne is happy to indulge the re researchers' more outlandish theories only to find that their fascination with ancient divination runs deeper than academic obsession. Patrick is determined to prove that medieval tarot holds the key to accurately telling the future. When Anne discovers a breakthrough in the form of a cryptic deck of 15th century tarot cards, she finds herself at the center of a dangerous game of power, seduction, and ambition. As their circle reaches its breaking point, Anne must decide if the tarot cards can teach her not only about the past, but also about her future. Deeply researched, lushly told, and thrillingly paced, The Cloisters explores the shimmering line between what is real and what is imagined, the magic melding of the modern and the arcane, and the power we have to defy what is written in the stars and to shape our own fates. All right, and then it says, Katie Hayes is a writer and adjunct art history professor in California, where she teaches rural students from Truckee to Tacopa. She holds an MA in art history from Williams College and pursued her PhD at UC Berkeley, having previously worked at major art institutions, including the Clark Institute and SM, SFMOMA. She now lives with her husband and her dog, Queso, in Olympic Valley, California. The Cloisters is her first novel. All right, and again, that's a 2022 novel. So this is a good one. It takes place in New York. And um, what's interesting in the back of this one is Anne Stilwell's Guide to Reading the Tarot. And, of course, Anne Stilwell is the main character in the story. And so that's kind of neat. She has the major arcana cards. Um, they're associated Roman god, their zodiac sign, the planetary ruler, um, the Ferrara deck illustration, which is in the book, um, the upright meaning, then the reverse meaning. So that's interesting. And, okay, and I think that is it. I kind of like it when they put extra kind of interesting things in the book. Now this tag here, this uh, circle says, Read with Jenna. Read with Jenna. And I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure what that is. If you know, um, or if you want to know, uh, I'm sure you can type it in. It looks like some sort of a, a reading group that may have uh, focused on this book. I'm not sure. If I find out, I'll let you know. Uh, I'll let you know in the comments or in the um, description. All right, friends, um, that was my two for you book review, my first one. If you want to see more of these types of book reviews, either fiction or nonfiction, let me know. Um, if there are any particular books you would like me to review, let me know that as well. I love to read, uh, and when I have time over the summer, especially when school's out, I do a lot of reading. So, I, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Um, it's perfectly free for you, and it helps me out a whole lot. I want to thank you for being with me today. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. You'll want to check out all the new videos on tarot. Um, 
tarot deck reviews, oracle deck reviews, readings, and so on. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I hope to see you again soon, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.